all right okay i hope all of you can hear me there was a little audio disconnection okay welcome everyone welcome to my channel omnigan i'm going live right now i'm back with the video for class 12 the rat trap which is there in the english syllabus and i hope all of you will be equally benefited all those of you who are in class 12 will be equally benefited from this video today okay all right let me just wait for a uh, few minutes maybe two three minutes not more than that if i can get some live students in the class today once again i welcome you all to my channel today most of you have been requesting me to provide the explanation for the rat trap uh, so finally i prepared the lesson actually it takes time um, you know for preparing the lesson so finally i have prepared the lesson for all of you and here i am going live for all of you okay let me just check the audio and i should start my video the explanation very soon okay the rap trap All right. Okay, just just one or two, just a couple of minutes. Okay, let me just check the audio quality. Let me just check the audio quality. Okay, Pratik is saying hi, Pratik Chakraborty. Hello, Pratik. Okay, Bright Banri. Hello, good to see. Good to see you. All right. Okay, let me start the explanation. Okay, and uh, if those students who are not in class twelve still, if you, this is a beautiful story. Let me tell you, the rat trap is a beautiful story. It is a beautiful story. Let me tell you, a very emotional story as well. You see, love and compassion towards fellow human beings can change their negative attitude towards the world. When we give love and care and compassion uh, towards even a hardcore criminal also, that criminal's mentality might change overnight. And the one of the biggest example is this story actually, the rat trap. All right. So even if you are not there, it's a it's going to be a very short video, not very long okay uh, if you are if you would like to listen to the story you'll be very uh, you know moved by the story it's a very emotional story okay so let us straightly move to the story okay it's a story about a peddler peddler is a salesman actually peddler jo hai salesman hai so this story is about a peddler okay and uh, he has a negative and pessimistic view of the world so you know, he views the world very negatively, very pessimistically. He does not have a very positive attitude towards the world. Okay, world ke mein uska itna positive attitude nahi hai. Wo negatively view karta hai. For him, the world is like negative. Okay. Now, his current situation is very bad. Uska jo current situation hai, financial situation, monetary situation, his current situation is very bad. But earlier, you see, he was a very happy man. Okay, he was a very happy man before. But now life had changed and misfortune fell upon his life. So pehle jo hai, earlier he used to be a very happy man. He had money also. He was very happy also. But now you see at present life has changed completely. And lots of misfortune befell you know, him. Uh, bad lucks actually. He is now having too many bad lucks in his life. That is why he views life as very bad. Wo life ko bhi bahut, uh, negative tarike se world ko bahut negative tarike se wo dekhta hai now you see he sells rat traps and sometimes even begs sometimes he even steals to earn his livelihood to survive or a rap, rat traps i think all of you know a trap for rats rat traps money traps for rats i think all of you have seen no uh, rats mice Okay, there are traps that you get in the market. 
so he now sells rat traps sometimes he even has to beg for money and sometimes he even goes to the extent of stealing also from people wo chori bhi karta hai so life is uh, has become very bad for him now okay but he has to survive so he views the whole world as a rat trap theek hai he views the whole world is a rat trap according to him the world is a rat trap world jo hai wo ek trap hai world is a trap actually a rat trap and we human beings we are rats and mice hum log rats aur hum log chuhe hai we are rats and mice okay the world is trapping us how the world is trapping us just as we put cheese to lure to attract and then trap a mouse the world offers us riches and tempts us and then it traps us to hum kya karte what do we do when we have to catch a rat what do we do we put a cheese inside right we put a cheese or a piece of cake or a biscuit inside the rat trap that that would attract the rat and then the rat would come and enter the trap and then suddenly when it will start pulling the cheese the door of that trap will close and the rat will get trapped inside and it will never be able to come out right jis tarike se hum log chuhe pakadne ke liye andar koi bread ka tukra ya biscuit ka tukra ya cheese ka tukra dalte hai to rat usse chuha usse attract hoke andar jab aata hai trap ke andar aata hai aur wo cheese ko jab khinchta hai okay cheese jo hota hai usko jab wo khinchta hai ya biscuit ka tukra wo khinchta hai to kya hota hai trap ka darwaza band ho jata hai aur rat rat jo hai chuha wahi pe phas jata hai andar Similarly, the world also offers us riches, and the world offers us riches, and it tempts us, and then we get trapped. मतलब एक बार अगर हम लोग when we become greedy for the materialistic things, जब हम लोग materialistic things के uh, you know को देख के हम लोग जब tempt हो जाते, attract हो जाते, तो हम लोग in one way हम लोग फंस जाते हैं उसमें. We get trapped. ठीक है ना? तो he views the world as a rat trap and we humans are like rats okay just as we uh, trap a mouse uh, with the help of cheese the world also traps us by offering us the riches and making us greedy and once we become greedy that means we are falling into the trap hum log jaal mein phaste rehte hain jab hum zyada greedy ban jate hain lalchi ban jate hain theek hai to this peddler actually views the world as a rat trap this is very important okay or when we become greedy and slowly slowly start uh, getting inside that trap what happens at the end it takes everything away from us at the end life will take everything away from us see money is not permanent what is permanent is human relations love compassion these are permanent things money will come money will go but love towards respect towards one another loving one another caring for one another if your neighbor is in difficulty you are going to help him out or help her out that is our duty as a human beings right but we don't do that we are actually greedy for money for all the materialistic things and ultimately what happens when we fall a trap to all these things ultimately it takes everything away from us okay this is what the peddler views about the world now one dark evening as he was walking along the road he saw a cottage by the road side okay one evening this uh, peddler was walking along the road it was a very cold uh, evening also he was walking along the road suddenly he saw one small house a cottage by the side of the road so he went there he knocked at the door and he asked for shelter for the night so he knocked the door and said that can i stay in in, in your house for uh, uh, tonight uh, can i get a little bit of shelter in your house tonight because i don't have any other place to stay Now the owner of that house was an old crofter at Ramscho Iron Works and was without children or a wife. Now that owner of the house was an old crofter at Ramscho Iron Works and he was without any children and wife. ठीक है तो ये जो घर का मालिक था वो एक old crofter था जो एक Ramscho Iron Works में काम करता था and उसका कोई नहीं था he was all alone he did not have children or wife he was all alone okay now this old man was very happy actually to get the peddler because this old man was all alone kyunki ye bura aadmi jo hai bilkul akela tha to koi company nahi tha iska no friends no family so when the old man when the peddler came and knocked at the door the old man 
felt very happy that at least I have got somebody with whom I can talk to, with whom I can share my loneliness. So though this old man was already miserable, but he still provided shelter to this pet mo. So this old man ka halat bilkul financially jo hai paisa nahi tha, iska tuta puta chota ghar tha. He had a very small house, broken small house. His his life was already miserable, but still he felt happy that at least somebody had come and uh, I will be able to spend some quality time with this uh, stranger. Okay, stranger is the peddler. So he provided shelter to the peddler. He said that okay, okay, please come inside. Uh, at least I will have a friend tonight to talk to because I'm all alone in in my house. I have no friends, no family. So you come inside and you can stay for tonight. Okay, up under eye or up. Now this old man, as I told you, the old man who was lonely, he was very happy to get someone to talk to and share his loneliness. So this man was very happy that at least uh, this old crofter, he crofter a bot kushua, at least somebody has come with whom I can spend the evening. Alright, play cards, spend evening and share my loneliness. Okay, so he was very happy in one way, this crofter. Okay. So peddler bhi khush ho gaya. Peddler also became happy. At least he has got one shelter. Now this uh, crofter, he offered porridge and tobacco uh, to the peddler so that he can smoke. And then they played cards the whole night. So whatever porridge, you know, he had very little porridge. So half he shared with the peddler. Tobacco also he had little tobacco. But that also he shared with the peddler. Okay, and whole night they played cards. And they talked and talked and talked whole night. Okay. This uh, uh, crofter was very happy, as I told you, because he was lonely. But ultimately, for at least for a night, he got a friend with whom he can talk to, have little fun, play cards. Okay, so whole night they played. Then what happened is that <clears throat> the old man, this crofter, told the peddler that he got thirty kronor for selling his cow. Now, kronor is actually a uh, monetary unit in Sweden. Okay, it's a monetary unit in Sweden. Kronor. Okay, just say we rupee. Hai. Okay, like our currency is rupee. So kronor is a monetary unit in Sweden. Okay. So this old man said, told the peddler, is bure admin peddler se kaha ke, see, I got thirty kronor for selling my cow. Okay. Now this uh, crofter actually he said that see, I keep my money inside a pouch on the window frame. So this. Crofter, this old man actually, he told the peddler where even where he kept his money also. That also he said. Normally, when we keep our money, we keep it inside the locker so that outside people will not know. Because you know who has what kind of mentality, uh, who knows? So we never share our uh, share the place where we keep our money. But this crof crofter was very simple guy. Okay, this crofter was a very simple guy. He was a calm person. So he shared that this money I keep inside a pouch in that window frame. See, it is hanging there. Now this peddler became greedy. See, I told you already this peddler, he sold rat traps. Sometimes he begged also, but sometimes he stole things also. So this peddler became greedy after hearing about the 30 kronor. Uh, and moreover, this crofter told him the place also where he kept that money. So this peddler was now waiting for an opportunity. That when the house, when there will be nobody in the house, I will come and steal the money, steal that 30 kronor from the house of the crofter. So this peddler became greedy and next day, when the crofter went to milk his cow, the peddler came and stole the 30 kronor. So the next day, both of them actually went out together and the crofter went to milk his cow. Okay, by that time, the peddler found an opportunity that there is no one in the house now. So he came, chup chap, he came, very silently he came and he stole the 30 kronor from the window frame. Okay, now in order to remain unsuspected, the peddler did not go to the house, the peddler went to the forest. Okay, so that nobody suspects him because immediately if he will go to the house, then obviously if by chance this crofter will complain the police, then obviously the suspicion will fall on the peddler only because there was nobody in the house apart from the peddler right only the crofter and the peddler was there in the crofter's house so automatically if the crofter would complain the police complain to the police then the police will straightly straight away come and uh, arrest the peddler so he did not go home immediately he went to the forest 
ठीक है नाउ इन साइड द फॉरेस्ट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग हैपेंड विद द पेडलर वाई बिकॉज ही लॉस्ट हिज वे इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड केम टू द सेम स्पॉट अगेन एंड अगेन तो से दिस इज अ फॉरेस्ट ओके दिस इज अ फॉरेस्ट and this is the peddler okay so what happens is that he starting from here and because it is a very thick forest more dense forest it's a very dense forest so the peddler would you know move around 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 and he would become confused with the way and he would again come and stand in the same spot again he would move around 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 and again he would lost his way and come to the same spot so it kept on happening like that like that like that okay now you see this uh, peddler he became puzzled actually so much and this puzzle kind of a thing this led him to think that he has now fallen into the rat trap and the money acted as a bait bait is what you know generally when we do fishing jab hum log fishing karte na fishing rod mein jab hum log fishing karte to kya hota we put something some edible thing on the tip of the hook right we we fix some food uh, fish food uh, on the hook and then the thread would put would be put under the water right and then fish will come and start eating the when it would come and start eating that fish food then you pull the stick and the fish would get stuck in the hook and it would come out so that food that fish food is known as the bait okay now this money actually acted as a bait for the peddler peddler jo hai peddler was going quite good only he used to sell red traps do small kind of Uh, theft and all these things commit small small type thefts and all these things but now you know he got 30 kronor which is a big amount of money actually okay now you see this peddler when he was uh, you know lost in the forest now he came to think that i have now fallen into the rat trap to main is rat trap pe phas gaya and this money is the bait the cheese i am the mouse this money is the cheese and this greed is the rat trap actually where i have fallen into now so this man this peddler started thinking all these things then what happened you see it was a cold december night and the peddler was depressed as he had lost his way in the forest now it was very cold also it and moreover it was a december night very cold okay chilling weather okay cold air was chilling air was blowing chilling wind was blowing actually he was feeling very cold also and on the top on top of that he was depressed he was sad because he had lost his way in the forest suddenly this peddler heard a noise a sound is peddler ko kuch aawaz sunai de he heard some sound then what happened you see the sound was of hammer strokes to aisa lag raha tha somebody was beating the hammers koi hathora maar raha tha kahi dur okay some you know a little at a little distant place somebody was uh Uh, you know striking hammer on something so he heard that this peddler heard that uh, sound and he started following the sound so sound ko follow karte karte he started walking now here the peddler met a blacksmith and his helper to so peddler yahan pe jab aaya to usne dekha that a blacksmith is there and this blacksmith helper is there now the problem is that this particular peddler he was actually he wore uh, you know uh, torn clothes he wore torn clothes he had big big beards actually big beards and his complexion had become dark also because he was poor also somehow running his life somehow living his life so his torn clothes beard and complexion was uh, you know like a beggar only okay now what happened is that the blacksmith had a misunderstanding this blacksmith whom the peddler met now in the forest this blacksmith did you know had a misunderstanding what misunderstanding the blacksmith mistook the peddler to be his old friend nils olof now the blacksmith because it was dark also it was night time also moreover this uh, peddler had mouth full of beard his clothes were all in rags torn clothes phata hua kapda muh pe dari complexion dark it was night time also dark also तो ये ब्लैकस्मिथ जो है गलती से समझ बैठा कि ये पेडलर उसका एक पुराना दोस्त है दिस पेडलर इज वन ऑफ हिस ओल्ड फ्रेंड्स नील्स ओलोफ जो कि नहीं है एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट बट द ब्लैकस्मिथ हैड दिस काइंड ऑफ मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड सो ही इनवाइटेड द पेडलर बिकॉज ही थॉट द पेडलर इज हिस ओल्ड फ्रेंड नील्स ओलोफ सो ही इनवाइटेड द पेडलर अरे नील्स प्लीज कम टू माय हाउस एंड बी माय गेस्ट वी आर हैविंग क्रिसमस सेलिब्रेशंस प्लीज बी माय गेस्ट फॉर क्रिसमस एंड नाउ द पेडलर आल्सो डिड नॉट टेल एनीथिंग नॉर्मली से फॉर एग्जांपल 
if any person mistakes you to be his friend he'll automatically clarify no 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 i'm not your friend even i i even don't know who you are i'm not your friend you must be uh, wrong okay you're mistaken so i'm not that friend but you see the peddler did not tell anything he was silent he thought that if i go as a guest in the house of this blacksmith maybe i will get something more to steal main kuch aur bhi chori kar paunga agar main is um, ब्लैकस्मिथ के घर पे चला गया तो पेडलर ने भी कुछ नहीं कहा वो साइलेंट रहा ही वॉज कम्प्लीटली साइलेंट बट देन अगेन समथिंग हैपन इन साइड इज माइंड एंड द पेडलर रिफ्यूज नो 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 आई विल नॉट गो बिकॉज ही हैड दैट फियर आल्सो दैट ही हैड जस्ट स्टोलन थर्टी क्रोनोर फ्रॉम द क्रॉफ्टर ओके नाउ गोइंग टू अनदर हाउस विल बी रिस्की तो ही सेड नो 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 आई एम आई एम गोइंग होम आई विल गो होम सो द blacksmith again requested to come on you are my old friend we are meeting after such a long time come come be my guest uh, we are having christmas celebration or the small christmas celebration please come to my house but then he kept thinking this peddler he kept thinking of the money he had stolen from the crafter so this peddler found it risky no 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 i should not go to the house of the blacksmith now because by chance if something happens and this uh, blacksmith discovers that i have stolen 30 kronor then this blacksmith will suspect and he might inform the police so he did not go he kept refusing okay no no i will not go i will go to my house only so after many requests from the blacksmith's daughter now the blacksmith's daughter came whose name was edla wilmanson so now the blacksmith's daughter came and the daughter now requested the peddler and requested several times to the peddler that uh, please come to my house please come to our house and be our guest please come to our house and be our guest so this uh, girl actually edla who is a very young girl this blacksmith's daughter she requested many times to the peddler to be their guest so finally the peddler accepted okay finally the peddler accepted and this edla wilmanson was a very kind girl okay was a very kind girl very compassionate and the way she requested the peddler the peddler could not refuse the peddler accepted now this iron master the blacksmith actually this iron master and his daughter edla did a make over of the peddler so peddler's the condition was very bad as i just told you beard was long um, you know uh, clothes were all torn so christmas see for any celebration christmas celebration or whatever celebration it is you cannot wear this kind of clothes you cannot be dirty right so the iron master and his daughter said that we will make a make over of the peddler and so they gave him good clothes okay iron master and his daughter gave the peddler good clothes to wear it will be good clothes actually good clothes to wear and they shaved off the beard of the peddler to peddler ka pura beard jo hai wo saaf kar diya daari pura shave kar diya ne kapde diye peddler ko peddler jo hai bahut surprised ho gaya the peddler was actually surprised that no one ever took such a good care of me as this iron master and his daughter is doing now all right but still anyways he was a guest now so he got good clothes to wear and then his beard was shaved off now after his beard was shaved off it was clean shaved after his beard beard was shaved off now the real face of the peddler came out and the iron master now realized that he had made a mistake and that the peddler was not his friend ab jo hai iron master ko ye realize hua the iron master realized that ah uh, ye to mera dost nahi hai this peddler is not my friend i have mistaken and this peddler also he is such a you know rubbish guy this peddler also he is a fraud guy this peddler also did not tell me anything that no no i am your friend i am not your friend this peddler should have spoken the truth in the beginning only when i mistook him to be my friend jab maine ye galti kiya ke ye peddler mera dost hai to peddler ko usi waqt bolna chahiye tha ki nahi nahi main to aapka dost nahi hu aapko galat fehmi hua hai there is some misunderstanding i am not your friend but the peddler did not tell anything so the iron master became very angry all right now the iron master he thinks that the peddler is a fraud man okay the iron master thinks that the peddler is a fraud man as he never told him this truth to kabhi sach nahi bataya are kab se jo hai you know since a long time this uh, peddler was inside the house of the iron master he should have told him no that no i am not your friend but the peddler did not tell so the iron master became very angry and said that he is a fraud man so 
the iron master told the peddler that you go out of my house immediately you get out of my house immediately you are a fraud man you did not tell me the truth so you go out of my house immediately but you see the daughter edla she was a very kind girl actually very kind girl edla actually insisted that the peddler should celebrate the christmas with them all right to edla jo hai daughter told the iron master requested the iron master that no father let the peddler it is a christmas celebration or holy celebration so let the peddler stay with us tonight and let him celebrate christmas with us all right so when the daughter told uh, you know her father requested a father again and again the father agreed now the iron master agreed that okay the peddler will stay with us and we will celebrate the christmas together tonight okay to pita ji jo hai wo agree ho gaya now you see edla was extremely kind to the peddler up when they sat actually the you know edla was uh offering uh, food to the uh, edla was offering food to the peddler again and again asking that whether he was comfortable or not kya comfortable hai ya nahi are you comfortable or not you know again and again was asking so the peddler was confused with this type of kindness because he never got this kind of kindness from anybody peddler ko kabhi aisa behavior this kind of behavior kind behavior peddler never got from anybody so the peddler was confused what does this girl want actually over kindness we say no sometimes over kindness so edla was showing over excess kindness to the peddler so peddler became confused okay, what kind of behavior is this exactly what does the girl want from me why is she behaving in this way now he could not understand the peddler could not understand whether this was a trap for him or real kindness पेडलर को बार बार ये लग रहा था पेडलर वॉज अगेन एंड अगेन फीलिंग हैविंग अ फीलिंग दैट दिस कुड बी अ ट्रैप फॉर मी दिस गर्ल इज दिस गर्ल इज वेरी क्लेवर वेरी कनिंग टू बी एग्जैक्ट ओके वेरी कनिंग एंड दिस कुड बी अ ट्रैप फॉर मी बट देन अगेन द पेडलर वॉज थिंकिंग और इज दिस रियली यू नो अ रियल काइंडनेस अ ट्रू काइंडनेस दैट दिस गर्ल इज शोइंग सो द पेडलर वॉज एक्सट्रीमली कन्फ्यूज नाउ द पेडलर received a suit as a christmas present which edda told him to keep forever to so, during christmas you need a suit no to celebrate the christmas so the peddler uh, you know the blacksmith the iron smith and her daughter uh, edla they presented the gifted a suit to the peddler and edla came and told the peddler that uh, you can keep this dress this suit with you forever no need to return it to me and not only today's christmas tonight's christmas you know next year's christmas next year's christmas next year's christmas forever you can come to our house we will always welcome you this is what edla said ke aap sirf aaj ka christmas nahi agle jitne christmas honge jitne bhi christmas honge aap yahi suit pehen ke aaiye aur ye suit aap हमें रिटर्न मत कीजिए ये एक गिफ्ट है हमारी तरफ से दिस इज अ गिफ्ट दिस सूट इज अ गिफ्ट फ्रॉम मी आई एंड माय फादर यू कैन कीप दिस गिफ्ट विथ यू फॉर एवर एंड एवर एंड एवर एंड वेन एवर यू वांट यू कैन कम टू अवर हाउस एट एवरी क्रिसमस यू कैन कम टू अवर हाउस वी विल ऑलवेज वेलकम यू द पेडलर वॉज मूव ही बिकेम इमोशनल ही डिड नॉट शो हिज इमोशन बट द बट इन द पेडलर बिकेम वेरी इमोशनल बिकॉज नो had ever behaved in this manner with the peddler peddler ke sath kisi ne aisa behavior kabhi bhi nahi kiya tha theek hai ab dekhte hain aage kya hota hai next day the iron master and his daughter went to the church leaving their guest the peddler who was sleeping to so peddler he was sleeping actually because uh, whole night they celebrated the christmas together so the peddler was uh, tired also he was sleeping to so next day as usual the iron master and his daughter went to the church and they saw like that in the room peddler was sleeping so they did not disturb the peddler they felt let the peddler sleep so they went to the church now they came to learn the truth from the church that the peddler had stolen money from an old crofter now this news had spread and obviously the crofter when he came home after milking his cow the crofter might have discovered obviously discovered that his money was missing from the window frame क्योंकि वो तो एक पाउच में पैसा रखता था ना यूज टू कीप द मनी इन अ पाउच एंड दैट टू इन द विंडो फ्रेम 
But this crofter made a mistake. He told the peddler the location of his money. That is the biggest mistake because he trusted the peddler actually. And the peddler broke the trust of this crofter. Anyways, so the crofter when he discovered his money was missing, obviously he might have come out and told uh, the people around that uh, yesterday uh, one peddler had come to my house. I gave him shelter and he stole the 30 kronor from my window frame. So this news spread and this father and the daughter, Iron Master and Edla came to know the truth from the church about this stealing thing. Now they became completely, uh, you know, uh, fearful actually. They were now frightened that Hare, we left the peddler at home and that too alone. By this time, the peddler might have stolen anything from a house. Then, so they hurried back home. Okay, they ran. Edla and the Iron Master, they ran back home to check if the peddler had stolen anything from their house also. From the house too. So, wo dono jo hai, Iron Master or uh, unki beti, Edla, dono jo hai, ghar bhaage. Ye check karne ke liye, kahi peddler ne hamare ghar se bhi to koi saman chori nahi kiya. Kyunko wo te chor hai. The peddler is actually a thief. Okay, so they ran home. And after running home, what they discovered was that nothing was stolen. So upon reaching home, they were surprised to see that nothing was stolen. Kuch bhi cheez chori nahi hua unke ghar se. And to add to their surprise, surprise abhi khatan nahi hua hai. Shock abhi khatan nahi hua hai. Look at the shock that the peddler has given in the end of the story. The peddler had left a note. To ek chitthi chora. Note mane a letter, small letter. The peddler left a letter along with a package. So, एक छोटा सा package, packet छोड़ा, packet package मतलब एक छोटा सा packet छोड़ा. There was a small packet. There was a small rat trap. What was in that packet? When the when they opened the packet, they found that there was a small rat trap inside, which Edla in which Ed, inside which Edla found the thirty kronor, which the peddler had stolen. So, they found a small rat trap in that packet and in that small rat trap, they found the 30 kronor. The peddler had left the money in that rat trap. Why? The big question is why did the peddler leave the money that he had stolen from the crofter? And what was written in the letter? Chitthi mein kya likha hua tha? Next page, on the note, and, and when I'm telling you this, I'm having goosebumps actually. It's a very emotional story as I told you. Very, very emotional story as I told you. Look what happened now. On the note, the peddler thanked Edla for her extraordinary kindness towards him. So in that note actually, in that note, the peddler thanked Edla, the daughter, that because she had shown extraordinary kindness towards the peddler. And what about the 30 kronor? Why did he leave the 30 kronor in that rat trap? He also wrote that he was leaving the 30 kronor to be returned back to the old crofter. To snooze note me, ye bhi likha ke I am leaving the 30 kronor. Please return the money to the crofter again. Because I don't have the courage to go back. I am a thief. I am a thief. I don't have the courage to go back to the crofter and return his money. So please, on my behalf, you go and return the 30 kronor to the crofter. He is a poor old guy. Okay. This is, this is the sacrifice that he made actually. He could have taken the money home, but no. He also wrote that it was for Edla's kindness that he was saved from the rat trap he had got into. So I told you rat trap is what? Rat trap is nothing but the greed actually. And you see... Greed is actually a kind of a rat trap actually. Okay, greed for anything, especially money. Greed for money is a kind of thing. If I give an example, say for example, you're walking along the road and you found 10,000 rupees lying. You found 10,000 rupees lying. Can you resist yourself? It is very difficult to resist. You'll definitely pick up that 1,000. There, there's nobody around. You'll definitely pick up that 1,000 and uh, go home and spend that money. Right? There will be very few people who will take that 10,000 rupees and go to the police station and tell them to announce that the 10,000 rupees are found on this, this area 
so anybody who from you know whose pocket or bag that money fell please come and collect there are very few people in this world who shows this kind of kindness actually who knows this 10,000 rupees could be of a poor person's pension right who knows this this 10,000 rupee could be a poor man's pension which he was carrying home because his wife was ill and needed treatment who knows this 10,000 rupees was withdrawn from the bank why for his or her daughter's admission in college or school who knows nobody knows okay so before picking money or before picking anything we must feel about that person who lost the money and it is our moral duty to return what does not belong to us khud ko jo belong nahi karta hai wo main apne paas kyu rakhu why should i keep something with me that does not even belong to me that belongs to somebody else so i must find that person and return back this thing this is what and when we return back actually we are saved from the rat trap hum log is trap se jo hai this trap we are saved from the trap of greed what is this trap this trap is nothing but greed hum log is lalach se bach jate hain and once you take that money and go home and spend that money right you have fallen into that trap us trap mein aap phas jate don't be like that okay so here is the end of the story that it was for edla's kindness that 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 changed the mentality complete mentality complete mindset of the peddler and he returned the money all right so you see kindness and love can change the world it can create magic right let us make some analysis here the world can be changed through kindness and compassion see all the criminals that you see uh, put behind the jail we know that stealing is a crime हम लोगों को ये पता है कि स्टीलिंग एक क्राइम है बट वी मस्ट ऑल्सो ट्राई टू नो द रीजन फॉर द स्टीलिंग हमें वो रीजन भी पता होना चाहिए कि उसने स्टील क्यों किया इफ समबडी इज स्टीलिंग फॉर जो फॉर फन एंड एंजॉयमेंट दैट्स ओके ओके बट इफ समबडी हैज स्टोलन स्टीलिंग इज अ क्राइम एंड दैट पर्सन मस्ट गो टू जेल वी नो दैट थिंग इट इज देयर इन द लॉ बुक ऑल्सो बट वॉट इफ दैट पर्सन हु स्टोल समथिंग हैज स्टोलन फॉर अ big cause maybe his father needs a treatment and he was not getting money immediately so he stole he asked his neighbors his relatives to lend him some money he did not get so he took to stealing who knows okay so when we you know provide little love and compassion to any person that person's mindset changes completely hai na now second point the kindness that the peddler gets from the young edla changed his mindset and decides to become and he decides to become a good man and not greedy to jo kindness this kindness that the peddler has got from edla that young girl that kindness changed the mindset of the peddler completely and he decides to become a good man and not a greedy man he decides never to fall in that rat trap again by not being greedy so the last point is that love and respect and compassion also towards fellow humans win in the long run and not money with money you cannot buy human beings you cannot buy their emotions you cannot buy their love their respect you have to earn respect you have to earn love and how can you earn your love and respect by giving love and respect to your fellow human beings this is what even mother teresa says the mother teresa says that it is not how much it is not you know what you do but how much love you put in that doing it is not how much we give but how much love we put in that giving when you give something to a beggar don't do it for charity do it because it is your moral duty you must do and put your love inside that giving jab aap kuch dete hain kisi ko to aap ise apna duty samjhiye सर्विस समझी यू थिंक दैट आई एम सर्विंग अनदर ह्यूमन बींग आई एम नॉट हेल्पिंग एनी बडी मैं किसी की मदद नहीं कर रहा हूँ आई एम जस्ट गिविंग माई सर्विस टू अनदर फेलो ह्यूमन बींग दैट फेलो ह्यूमन बींग ड्यू टू सम रीजन ही इज नॉट इन अ पोजिशन इन द सोसाइटी राइट नाउ बट इफ आई हेल्प हिम एंड ट्राई टू अपलिफ्ट हिम वन डे ही मे बिकम बिग पर्सन एंड ही विल हेल्प टेन अदर पीपल दो टेन अदर पीपल विल हेल्प टेन अदर पीपल इन दिस वे यू सी द वर्ल्ड विल बिकम अ हैवेन and eden right 
this is what the story has to teach us so not money but love and respect towards fellow human beings win in the long run and this is what edla this girl has shown us all right so this is the end of the story do don't forget to uh, put your comment in the comment section below that uh, you know kahani aap logo ko kaisa laga how did you like the story okay don't forget to add your comment in the comment section and if there is anything that you would like to know uh, regarding the story please feel free to comment in the comment section okay so that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching my video okay uh, i'm end, i will be ending the live stream right now and uh, don't forget to share my videos also with all your friends i am now continuously bringing videos for class 12 english students afterwards i'll be starting starting additional english also so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do like my video ek like to banta hai because i am doing live stream also not only that when you give a like on my video no it gives me a little more motivation and encouragement to make more videos okay and like also means that you are watching my videos ठीक है तो लाइक का मतलब है कि आप मेरे वीडियो को वॉच भी करते हैं ठीक है आई एम सून गोइंग टू ब्रिंग अनदर वीडियो व्हेन विल क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड क्लास टेन बोर्ड एग्जाम रिजल्ट्स विल बी डिक्लेयर्ड नॉट एग्जैक्टली द डेट बट रफली अ टाइम बिकॉज आई हैव सम अपडेट्स विद मी मेरे पास कुछ अपडेट्स हैं तो मैं जल्दी शेयर करने वाला हूँ आप सब लोगों से तो ट्यून इन ट्यून इन टू द 